All right, guys. So um, again, this is just a little moment in time here to kind of show you guys how to use this, some individual tools. Um, the first thing I'm going to talk about just by itself is how to use the select tool. So let's say that again, you've used the other tools. You know how to draw. You know how to draw lines. You know how to draw circles. All that kind of stuff. Um, we're talking about how to use a select tool. And the reason why I'm focusing on the select tool specifically is just because a lot of people have issues with using the select tool and understanding its purpose and its meaning and those kind of things. So. Let's assuming that you know how to use the circle tool. I'm just going to draw a circle up here in this corner. Again, clicking and dragging if you don't know how to use that. So I got my circle tool selected. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill this in red. Again, using the bucket tool if you want to fill things in. Um, so now I'm going to draw another shape next to this just for the purposes of understanding our select tool here. Okay. So to use the select tool, again, it's over here on the far left side. Again, this is going to help you move things individually. So right now, if I use the move tool, right, this little crosshair thing is going to move everything on our screen. We don't always want to move everything on our screen. Sometimes we just want to move just one thing on our screen. So next to that, we have the select tool right here. So it has a select. Um, if I click that, now again, if you click and you drag around an object like this, and I'm going to let go, let go of my mouse, boom, it's let go. Now you guys will notice... Over here, we have some options on the left-hand side. If I hover over those things, it's going to tell me what that's what's going to happen with those things. Um, so for our purposes, let's say we want to move this individually. I just click on top of that. I can click and drag around. It's moving everything independently. Now, remember, we had a short conversation in the longer video about the uh, gray and white checkerboard in the background. It's just a representation that nothing's there. So let's say I want to move this circle right. I can move it on top of it. Nothing's going with it. Now, just to kind of show what happens whenever you don't do that. Let's deselect that and let's make our background purple here. So I have this being purple. Now I have my select tool. Let's say I want to move this shape now. So I click and drag with my select tool, right? And if I click on top of that, click and I drag, it's taking all that purple with it. So a reminder that I would not put any color in the background until you are 100% certain that everything's where you want it to be. Otherwise, um, you're gonna move all those colors with it. It's gonna make your life a lot harder if you try to move and position things along the way. So first thing, or second thing I should say, now that we understand that part, with the select tool selected, we can also modify and change these things. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about with this little select tool is the little handles out here. So in these little like circle, white circle things, if I slide this up, I can squish that circle and make it an ellipse and have to fill in the gaps. If I want to stretch it out, I can stretch it this way and make it more of an ellipse if I want to. But you notice how it's getting distorted whenever you do that. So clicking and dragging around it again, I can turn it, I can go that direction with it. I can change the size and shape. But remember, as you do change the size and shape, you're going to lose some pixels along the way because you're distorting things, changing things, making things different. Um, so let's stretch this back out, try to get it back to its normal size. It's kind of still crazy looking just because it got smushed and it got stretched back, stretched back out again. So um, to say that, now let's say we want to copy this. So let's say I want to copy this shape up here. So I click and drag around the shape, right? Then I have these options over here on the left-hand side. If you don't have these options hovering around you or hovering around that box up here in the top left, you guys will see my mouse go from here to here. Um, in the top left, those same options are available for you to click here. You'll notice there's keyboard shortcuts out next to that. So you click Control C or Control V or X or whatever. It'll do those same things for you and make it a lot faster um, if you want to do that. So for me, I want to copy this. So if this selected, I hit copy. So again, it's copying it to a place where um, we can't see that. But now with my select tool selected, if I click and drag again, and then I have these options over here. So I copied it before. I'm now going to go to the paste option, hit paste. I also can hit control V and things go so much faster if I use the keyboard shortcuts instead to copy my shape. Now let's say I want to cut something out and I just want to get rid of it or remove it and I don't want to copy over and over again. So it says cut here. So again, let's say I want to select this shape and I go here and I hover over this again, all my options are out here to the left or they are up here in this portion where it says control X. But for our purposes, I'm going to click this button. So now it's cut out. Now, what that's done is it's taken it and it's put it in a place where we can't see it. But now, if I click and drag and I go to paste here, I now have that shape back. And I can, you know, then after that, I can also paste it a bunch of times if I'd like to. Um, that's essentially how the select tool works. Let's say I want to delete a specific area. If I hover over that right, I can select that part and then cut it out so it's cutting everything else out. So that's the gist of how the select tool works. It's going to be a uh, very useful tool whenever you start animating things. Okay.
That's it for this one. This was how to use the select tool, your most important friend probably, in animating something.